But we're going to try this song. This is a song that we have different parts for. And you know, when we when we did this song, uh, myself and Dixie Hall I wrote this song, and everybody has a little part in it. So every time dollars, different dollars come up here to play this particular song, we have to learn each other's lines. So sometimes it can get kind of comical on the song. <laughs> but, uh, but we can't do a set without doing the song that uh, we won three IBMA awards for recording of the year. <laughs> I think this song got it all started for us, uh, and it was also nominated for Song of the Year that year. And uh, here it is, right here, written by Tom T. Hall's wife, Dixie Hall, and myself. One called Back to the Well. <laughs>
you know, it's not, Daughters of Bluegrass is not just playing music or writing music or singing music. It's also uh, doing different things in music. Uh, Joe represents that because, Joe, come on over with us. She represents that by being an MC. You know, she was one of the first uh, female MCs to be inducted into the Daughters of Bluegrass Hall of Fame. And all the Daughters of Bluegrass that are inducted into the Daughters Hall of Fame, they, they are on Tom T. and Dixie Hall's wall. And when you go to visit them uh, in Tina, not Henderson? Franklin. Franklin, Franklin. Tennessee. You, you'll see, right near Nashville, Tennessee, you'll see all their pictures there. And, uh, and it's so neat to, to go there and see all the pictures that they've got framed in there. You know, this is a, it's a, it's a very special thing. What is the Daughters of Bluegrass? You know, you ask yourself, what is that? And basically, it's not someone who was born from a mother that was a bluegrass person. What it is, is it's somebody who loves bluegrass music, who supports bluegrass music, and, and who gives it all, you know. And, and we have a very special person here. Uh, and, and, you know, right now, Georgia uh, and North Carolina are tied for the number of daughters of bluegrass that they have. Uh, Virginia's right behind them. Uh, but I don't think this breaks the tie, does it? No. Does, does this person break the tie? No, up north. No, okay, so they're not, they're not breaking the tie. Okay, so we'll still, we'll stay, they're a Yankee? Are you telling me we're going to put a Yankee into the Dolphin Bluegrass? You're not from Georgia, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what then, uh, we'll, that's okay, we, we'll put a Yankee in, in there, we got a few Canadians anyway. Folks, this person right here, they are the first uh, to be inducted into the Daughters of Bluegrass as this special representation because they do something that is very special. It's very special to me because uh, I don't mind telling you, I love the Lord Jesus and it's Easter weekend, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And you know what the reason for the season is when it's Easter? Yeah. So uh, this person right down here, not only do they go out and represent bluegrass and play music, and, uh, and bring people into the circle of bluegrass, but they also bring people into the circle of, of uh, heaven and Christianity and what it all stands for. And I, and I would write, like to bring this person and her husband up right now. Now, we're not putting her husband into the Daughters of Bluegrass, <laughs> but, he, can, but he, may, he may be not wanting to come up. He may be doing, he may be doing something else right now. But not only that, but uh, not only is she a Daughters of Bluegrass, but it's also her birthday. Mary Robinson, would you please come up? <laughs> <laughs> Mary is an inspiration in bluegrass music. They, they do worship services. They praise the Lord through music. And they go to bluegrass festivals all over the world. And uh, they represent bluegrass in a special way. And uh, I believe they are about here, aren't they? Where are you guys? Hey, Mary. Hi, Mary. Mary didn't come to the show last night because it was too cold. And I said, are you coming to the dollar show? And she says, I don't know. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and uh, today, you know, I made sure that I pointed her out and told you how old she was. <laughs> Mary, ladies gather around. Joe, you coming down this way? And are we gonna need to come down on behalf of all the dollars of bluegrass all over the world, and there are 152 of us. Wow. <laughs> and Lorraine taught me a slow, she's from Massachusetts. <laughs> so that's the first one from there. So this is the first. We do have one from Wisconsin, uh, Becky Bueller. But on behalf of all the dollars of bluegrass, Mary Robinson is hereby named an honorary Daughters of Bluegrass for her many efforts to promote bluegrass music and including daughters in her entertainment and also in all of her Christian works throughout the bluegrass circuit. Mary, we love you. We want you to be a part of this, and this will be in the Bluegrass Unlimited, so please be looking for it. Everybody, let's get the picture.
while you're uh, while you're getting a picture, we want to present her with. We, come over here, Mary. Mary, we want to present you with a, with flowers from Mossy Oaks Music Park. And the reason we want to do this is because you are the third person that has been inducted on this stage. Wow. So we Yeah. <laughs> 